good morning. It's 8 a.m. A little over seven miles in for the day. Uh, Coyote and I started at 5 a.m. Up at 4.30. Packed up real quick and got on the trail. Um, oh, trying to get 29 by 5.30 tonight. The trail is way more challenging than yesterday. I mean, it's been okay so far, you know, in the sense that I'm doing okay, but just like a lot more up and down, way, way more um, up and down than yesterday. So it'll be interesting. It'll be tiring, but I think it's going to go well. I feel pretty optimistic about it. Um, I'm excited to see my friend and just, I'm going to take a zero tomorrow. So instead of doing like 23 today and then six tomorrow or something like that, like the last shelter, one of the shelter options I could have camped at tonight. I'm just going to spend two nights in Charlottesville. Um, getting off at the James River Bridge, which is mile 787. And so it should be like a really, really refreshing break. I'm gonna try my best to find super feet and just do all the, uh, I don't know, uh, everything that I need to do to feel dialed in with my gear. Now that I'm a third of the trail in, getting, feeling super close to Harper's Ferry, like halfway, halfway point. Um, so that's gonna be really, really nice. We peak a couple mountains today and then we will cross the Blue Ridge Parkway a couple times again. Um, so, but mostly it's just a lot of up and downs. Oh, yeah, I think that's it for this update. More later. So I just checked the map. It's 9 a.m. and I've done 10.2 miles. So that's exciting. Um, trying to get to the highest point uh, by 10 a.m. That'll the highest point that I'll go today. It's like Apple Orchard Mountain. So when I get up there, I'll show you that. But that's I think a couple miles away still the shag green carpet again. <laughs> I love this stuff. I feel like if I ever had a van, I'd put this green, <laughs> I'd put shag green carpet uh, after this moss in there. Okay. I think I made it to the top. I don't know for sure. Hi. Okay, so I made it to the top by 10. I'm going to sit here for like 10 minutes. And oh, I feel so good about making it this far this fast. I think it was a pretty consistent 2.5 miles an hour. I had one other five-ish minute sit down break with Coyote earlier. He's behind, he should be here soon. And now I'm at this weather station. I'm gonna sit on these rocks, I'll show you. Yeah, so there's like this weather radar station or something on top of Apple Orchard Mountain. I'm gonna sit here. The trail's like right there where that stick is. Not much for views today, but that's okay. Oh yeah, so um, here's what I've done on the map. And then um, here's what I have to do. So I feel like the majority of the uphill is over. 
Oh, my neck is sore. It's like pulling on like my spine, feeling like the, the muscles in my back and the shoulder specifically is like, but not too bad. Feeling really good. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> to go under this thing. <laughs> Oops. Wow. I should also watch my <laughs> oh, Okay, so um, that break at 10 a.m. was actually like 40 minutes <laughs> instead of just 10. So um, gone a couple more miles since then. And now I have like 14 miles to go. So hopefully I can make those miles by Okay, heading up the last climb of the day, and it's only a mile up, and then a little bit on the way down, we'll have hit 20 miles for the day, and it's only uh, like a little before one. So, oh, last climb. Here we go. <sighs> okay, I'm still climbing, but look at this log. It is completely covered with these fungi thing things. Wow. I need to find out what that stuff is. If you know, let me know in the comments. It's like my favorite thing to take pictures of. Ooh, okay. Pretty much all downhill from here. <laughs> it's, yeah. Clearing up. It was pretty foggy this morning. It's a little hazy still. Definitely hot. <laughs> Um, but overall feeling pretty good. Pretty flowers and very flat trail. I am in my happy place right now. Besides the spider lines, I think I've walked through like three dozen spider lines today. <laughs> If you didn't know, I don't know, spiders like leave lines across the trail to catch bugs. And especially early in the morning, you'll just walk through like so many sometimes. Um, but they've lasted even to this afternoon. So, uh, what am I to do? Get this butterfly. Oh. On, little one, let me get you. <laughs> wow, big, huge views of the James River. Wow, oh, my goodness, didn't even notice it wind at first. You can see like a horseshoe shape. It's been such a desert the past few miles. This is like a little oasis. <laughs> yeah. 
Look at these purple flowers. Wow. Oof. So nice. Wow, that water looks so nice. Oh. There's the last shelter before the James River Bridge. Oh my gosh, look at this water. It's so hot out. We checked the temp earlier. It was like 80. Not sure if you can tell, but that's the James River right there. There's someone in a boat. A couple of people rowing. It looks so massive. So I just turned the corner out of the valley and now I'm walking along the James River for another mile before we get to the James River footbridge, which is apparently the longest footbridge on the Appalachian Trail. So that's pretty neat. Been taking it really easy. My friend can't pick me up until 5.30 and Coyote and I will probably get there around five even after taking some breaks and stuff today. So, <sighs> really thankful for just this the way the miles flew by today. My feet are feeling pretty good. There was quite a bit of down the second half of the day and so my feet were hurting because of that. But there were some really nice gradual bits. That was nice. Oh, yeah, so. Pretty little waterfall right next to the James River Bridge. Oof, nice big trees. Whoa, this is awesome. Wow. Thank you. Okay, just cross that bridge and going under the train bridge. And there's a parking lot up here we're waiting at for my friend. Yeah, so um, there's zero service here and zero service um, like in that valley. But there was a tiny bit on the train or on the on the bridge. So just got off the phone with my friend. He's gonna be here like 5.15 or so. And oh, yeah, coyote's pressing on. I'm taking a zero tomorrow. And I'm feeling really excited. Hi. Problem. Like I try to like like know enough to just ask a question intelligently, but every now and then I sound like someone who goes, "Hey, are you speaking Indian right now?" And there's like this fucking idiot. This. <laughs>